Hello and welcome to the Western Journal. I'm Olivia Brown. Tonight we are at a very special event at a Hispanic Community Center in South Phoenix. I have Aaron here with me. Aaron, what makes you excited to be here tonight for this event? Oh, this is my first time being to one of these things, so I'm excited to just experience it. I've never, I don't really know what to expect. Ooh, Carrie Lake, she's running, you know, and I'm, I mean, I support her. I hope she does a good job like anybody else. Do you plan to vote for Carrie Lake in November? I will, I will look at the ballots and I will look them all over and if she's the good candidate for it, then yes, I'll be honest, I will. Do you usually vote uh, Democrat, Republican? How do you lean? Democrat, yes, a registered Democrat. Tonight we have Nick Grinsman who is running for city council in South Phoenix. What is your stance on the Arizona border and how Joe Biden has been handling it? Uh, my stance on the uh, border is pretty simple. Um, I think that you can't really have a country without borders. You have to have legal borders. Um, we can't illegally go into other countries. I've traveled the world. I've been to 26 countries and there's a lot of passport control and things to get into other countries. And I would like to see that in our country. He is not handling the border. In fact, I think it's a humanitarian crisis. I've been saying that for years, you know, with my family and my friends. I'm like, the way things are being handled in the border, it's a humanitarian crisis. We cannot ignore what's happening over there. I actually have family members that also came here without their documents, friends that came here without their documents. And I've heard horror stories. I've heard stories of, you know, women, friends of mine, uh, family of mine, that were raped as they came across the border. The fact that that is the way someone's coming into our country, it, it's sad. And it, and it traumatizes people. And then once they're here, they're struggling. And then of course, the refugees, like it, they're not being given the American dream and, and the way that the economy is coming, who's gonna have the American dream afterwards, right? So we've gotta protect that. We've gotta make sure that we get back to where, where our country was founded on, which is the constitution, law and order and safety. And, and we just gotta protect that. Hi, look at that sweet baby back there. She's waiting. It's Why, truly why I'm in this.